Hello everyone, welcome back to Back in Diapers. Um, pardon my voice, I have been very sick, I look a little rough. Um, let me close this here real quick. Alright, that's a little better. Um, but yeah, today I'm coming to you with a review on the Fabine diaper. Um, <clears throat> and this is kind of like one of the original AB diapers that's been around for a long time. As long as I've known about AB diapers, this one's been around, and I'm just finally now getting around to trying it. Um, I bought these from netdiapers.com, I believe is the website, and I'll give you a little bit of a review on the site itself. Um, so yeah, this is the Fabine diaper here, and it's really got a cute print. Um, it's got a kitty and a little bear and somewhere on here there's a little sheep type thing and it's got like stars and everything um it does have back and front waistband um this particular batch the front waistband is terrible it's not it's hardly even connected to each other it doesn't really do much um but it's got this cute little like hang on, cute little uh side thing all the way up and down it um it's a very aesthetically cute diaper um that is for sure um so i've been trying these out for about a week now i did get a whole case of 128 of them um right now there's a sale going on with net diapers for uh, i believe it's 150 for the 128 diapers which makes them like a dollar 20 a piece and um, which is a fantastic deal now this diaper advertises that it holds over a gallon of pee. Um, that is kind of relative to the fact that, yes, it can hold a gallon, as you saw in my previous video. It can hold a gallon, but if it was on a human and um, it was being worn and sitting and all that, that's not really a realistic amount. I would say maybe half a gallon, realistically. Uh, a couple liters, I'd say. Um, but yeah, not really going to hold the full gallon on a, on someone. I mean, it weighs like, I would say, 10, 11 pounds when fully um, soaked with that amount. I didn't weigh it exactly because I do not have a scale. But yeah, um, so this is the diaper fresh out of the pack. Um, I, I, I opened it up, obviously, so it's a little bit thicker than it would be. Um, this is what it is, having been sitting out and such in my backpack for probably a week. So, you know, it does, it does fluff up quite a bit. Um, these do swell a lot when they are wet. Uh, not as much on me because I have thunder thighs, so it kind of squishes it in. So, my overall thoughts on this diaper, I am not impressed at all. Um, I've noticed that there's a huge quality issue, like, out of the, the pack of eight, I think it was, there was at least half of them were messed up in some way. One was completely missing a tape. Um, the padding is never consistent, like, some of them have this quilted look to them. Uh, I don't know how well you can, yeah, there you go. You can see the quilted look. Some of them, so like with the quilted ones, they seem a little bit thinner, uh, but they do bulk up a little bit. Uh, some of them don't even have the quilting in it, which is kind of strange. Like, seriously, the padding of the diaper is has been so inconsistent. And I actually prefer it without the, um, without the quilting because it is a little thicker, it is a little softer. Um, the overall feel of the padding, like the inner lining, is that it is super soft. Um, it is like like a pillow. When we opened the first one, it was just like, oh my god. Um, but the sizing runs small, which is annoying. So I should fit in this size just fine, and I barely, barely fit it. It's really quite annoying. Um, so needless to say, I won't be buying these again. Um, just because there's better diapers out there that are consistent. Um, something I really don't like about them is their tapes. While they're a very, very strong tape, you know, they're, they're not, they're kind of like the ABU tapes, but they're not as sticky. So really the, 
I can untape it like once, maybe twice before that tape kind of gives out and ends up like folding in on itself because it won't stick right and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, not incredibly fond of these. I would much prefer to spend a little bit more money per diaper and get ABU. Um, so yeah, but I mean for something, it drives me nuts how diaper companies, you know, test the diapers and advertise this huge amount and yes, it will hold that. But if it's actually on your body while it's absorbing, it's not going to do that. Um, and it's very frustrating that no one has an accurate uh, capacity under pressure um, measurement of how much it's going to hold except for tranquility. And I find they're the only ones that have like an accurate amount of what it's going to hold. So really it's in the testing and the diapers that's the problem. Yes, a diaper can hold that much, but really will it withstand up to that? Um, it does, these diapers do wick really well, so, like, I can be soaking wet and I'll feel pretty dang dry. Um, I mean, when I take off the diaper, yeah, I feel, my skin feels wet, but while you're in the diaper, it does not feel super wet, which is good. And, um, I find that, for the most part, I can get probably, uh, four weddings consistently. Um, the first one I got, like, five or six weddings in. The rest, you know, there's been times where I get one or two. Um, and usually I outlive the diaper. Um, they don't break down per se, but because of the sizing and everything, I feel like it just doesn't, I can't get to capacity with it. Um, you know, my boyfriend has tried them. He actually does like them. You know, he's, they last him a while. So for him, it was a really, really good deal. All right. So on to where I got these diapers. These are made in Germany. Um, they are manufactured there. They're sold there. Um, it's actually very hard to get these diapers in the U.S. There's only one company that I know of that actually uh, sells them, and that is NetDiapers.com. A little bit about NetDiapers. Um, NetDiapers is run by the previous owners of ABU, and I was very skeptical of ordering these in the first place because of that, given the history of what's gone on with ABU. And, um, so, but it was such a good deal, we really couldn't pass it up, because it's like, we don't have that much money, and if we can get 128 diapers for 150 bucks, that's really a good deal. So we did spring for it. Um, however, that's where the benefits of this website stop. Um, it took us two weeks to get these diapers. Uh, we ordered them on a, I think, I think we ordered them on a sa Saturday or Sunday night. Uh, and they, you know, we didn't get, we got an order confirmation right away, but seriously, it sat there for like until I think it was, I think we finally emailed the guy on Thursday and I'm like, when are they shipping out? He's like, I'll get them out tonight. So we waited, you know, all of Thursday night, well into Friday before, and we still hadn't received confirmation that it shipped. So we once again emailed the guy and he said, oh, I'll for sure get it out tonight. You'll have the tracking information tonight. That was Friday. The diapers did not actually ship out until the following Monday. So it was like, uh, well over, it was about eight days before they shipped out. And it took, you know, the uh, it took until that Friday after that to receive the diapers. So whether it's because of this great deal going on and they're swamped with orders, I don't know. However, the guy was not at all, um, you know, he told us four times he was going to ship out this order, and he didn't. And it was very frustrating um, to have to wait that long, seeing as I was out of diapers. I was using four cloth diapers, washing them every single day, just to get through. And it was very frustrating. And I even told him in my emails, I'm like, look, we bought these because it was such a great deal. We have a very limited income and I am incontinent. I need these as soon as possible. And so like the customer service is like, he was very quick to respond, but the level of customer service just sucked. And it was extremely reminiscent of how ABU was in the past. And, you know, I will say this, I'm never ordering from him again, just because of the frustration and then I get you know this case of them uh the first pack was horrible and so it's like 
I really have no desire to ever order from this guy again. And I would caution you, if you are ordering from him, expect it to take quite some time for you to get these, you know, these diapers in. And we only ordered from this guy because we had confirmation from a friend that they, you know, his first order from this guy shipped out within two days. The next one shipped out, you know, in five days. So, like, that's why we went with it. We're like, well, okay, so he's pretty good at shipping them out. We'll, we'll do that. And he was only selling items that were in stock at this time. So we knew he had them in stock. And, but it got so late in, you know, the whole sending process that we were worried that he was going to run out of product at this point. So needless to say, ordering from Net Diapers, not, I would just honestly, don't do it. I mean, if you want to give it a shot, that's fine. Go for it. But I have had a horrible experience with them, just like many people had experience, you know, such horrible experience with them when they were running ABU. And so it just solidified the fact that this guy does not run a business well. So I, I'm sorry to lambaste the people, but, you know, if you're going to run a business then and tell people, you know, you're going to get, you know, your product, then you need to get it out within a reasonable amount of time. And don't tell them four times in a row that you're going to send it and never send it. So yeah, I'm a little salty about that, but um, you know, all in all, I mean, it's a good diaper to try, and if you can get a hold of it, great. It's 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 good. I would say it's pretty close to ABU. Um, I'm not really sure which one is better at this point. I'd have to really really compare and test. Um, but yeah, and I know for one, the plastic on the ABUs is a lot softer. These are extremely crinkly, if you can hear that. Um, extremely, extremely creakly. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're not, they're certainly not one that I will purchase again. They are not, they did not live up to the hype that I've heard from them. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's the Fabine. I'll give you guys a nice look at it again. Um, it is cute, but not, certainly not as cute as other ones that I've tried. Um, I personally like the ABU space a lot better, even the little paws, even though I don't like the coloring of them, but these just these are close and possibly if I had an extra large size maybe my um, experience would be a little bit different um, but yeah that's the Fabine and if you want to check out how much it's it does hold without being on someone how much it just will absorb in general go ahead and check out the video um, that I posted previously to this one and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned for the next videos because I've got some really exciting um, videos coming up. I've got a review of uh, Crinkle Crate coming up and also I am getting my hands on some crinkles so I'm really excited to test those out and see how it goes and check out the Crinkle Crate. Um, but that'll be next video. I should get that on Friday. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye bye.